Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your daily dose of good news on Tuesday, April the 7th. Uh, given the rain showers outside, we are back into the Washington's basement this morning. I'm uh, glad that you can join us. Our daily prayer for Holy Tuesday uh, begins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have called us to follow you. Grant that our love may not grow cold in your service, and that we may not fail or deny you in time of trial. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our suffering servant reading for the day is taken from Isaiah, the 49th chapter, verses 1 to 7. coastlands pay attention you peoples from far away the lord called me before i was born while i was in my mother's womb he named me he made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand he hid me he made me a polished arrow in his quiver he hid me away and he said to me you are my servant israel in whom i will be glorified but i said I've labored in vain. I've spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord and my reward is with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord and my God has become my strength. He says, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nation that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers, Kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Here ends the reading. Readings on the way of the cross, today from 1 Corinthians, verses 18 to 31. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to those of us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. 
Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not, to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, in order that as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Here ends the reading. Holy Week Passion Story, according to St. Matthew, continues in the 23rd chapter, verses 1 to 12. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore, do whatever they teach you and follow it, but not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues, and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you all are students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you shall be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled. And all who humble themselves will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Loving God, in the person of your son, Jesus of Nazareth, you demonstrate the power of love that is found in humble service to you and the neighbor around us. Stir up that power of love within us, that we find the courage to put the needs of others before our own and sustain our confidence that your love will see us through this pandemic emergency so that our faith strengthen others around us too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now may Almighty God bless and keep you unto eternal life. Amen. Well, it's a great pleasure and joy for me to be with you again today, even in these trying times where we hear again the 
persevering uh, love of our God, even in these challenging times. Thanks for the way that you are continuing to love one another in Jesus' name. Uh, no new uh, prayer requests to add at this point. Uh, we do appreciate the names of medical professionals that you are sharing with us that we can um, lift up specifically in our Monday, Thursday worship services. I would like to go ahead and we'll spread the word on this too, but um, if we could add the names of teachers, uh, teachers that are doing such important work under such difficult circumstances right now uh, as they're guiding uh, their students um, in non-traditional um, ways they're unaccustomed to. Uh, so if there are teachers that you would like to share, we would be glad to remember them as well. Hopefully we will see you again tomorrow, Holy Week Wednesday, morning prayer at 1030 and then throughout the day available on the website. Good to be with you. We'll talk again. Bye-bye.